Uh, that was um, your fiftieth T Twenty appearance for England with a knock like that. How, how did that feel? Yeah, great. Um, sometimes those moments can get to you, and you can uh, do something silly and get out early. But um, yeah, incredibly proud with the way um, I went about it and, and got some runs in a in a winning course. Did the position kind of dictate how you would go about it? Because it's sort of like losing wickets around you at the start. Yeah, it's tough. You, you have that weird balance where you lose wickets, but you know it's hard to score runs. So you don't want to lose another one, but you have to still take certain risks. Um, so, I, and I think you know. We, we had a little partnership there, myself and Mo, that sort of got a bit of momentum and that changed that a little bit. Um, and it helps when you have two guys that sort of start batting at the same rhythm um, and tempo and you're both scoring boundaries um, and that sort of can transfer the pressure to them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's never easy finding that balance. Um, but you'd rather try and get 180 than get bowled out for, or get what then, and get bowled out for 120 than just get 140 for, for six at the end. So we chanced our arm a little bit and it worked tonight. Mm. Did you think you had a, a little bit of a point to prove tonight after what happened on? On Sunday, all I know, I think it was probably, I, I know why England did what they did, but how, how did it feel from, from your point? No, I, I feel like I've proved my point um, a hell of a lot before. Um, you know, ultimately, the way this team is balanced, uh, if we get to a certain stage in a game, I think everyone's very flexible in where they, they're going to bat. Um, and that's always been the case. It's not just uh, for this one. It's the same with the last World Cup. We we chop and change depending on whether we want a certain player in at a certain time, especially if we get a good start. Um, so yeah, that, it just is what it is. And just how do you feel batting on these pitches? Do you think they suit your game a bit, bit better than maybe like the, the slow and lower ones in Pakistan? Uh, no, I just had no rhythm in, in, in Pakistan. The first three games and the last three games, I found my rhythm. Uh, rhythm. Um, you know, it's nice to have a bit of time to practice here as well. Um, you know, this one was, I guess, slightly slower than we, we're used to in, in, in Australia. It was really stoppy, maybe because of the weather that we had. Um, so this was more. Sort of stoppy bounce than, than that quick bouncy bounce that you usually get in Australia. So it's a slightly different wicket. David, how, sorry, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. how impressive have you been with Sam over the last couple of games in those pressure situations at the end there? Yeah, he's been fantastic. Um, as a bowler, you get judged um, on those in those tough overs and those tough moments, and he's been standing up um, consistently um, for a young kid who's who's still finding his way. In international cricket, and I guess that's what happens when you play in franchise tournaments and, and, and IPL around um, in, in the world. You, you get put in those pressure situations, and you're expected to, de uh, to deliver. Um, so extremely pleased that he's he's done so well. Was it um, a slow diving just to get an incremental contract? Uh, yeah, I think there's obviously a, a slight, slightly strange system with the with the contracting system. Um, you know, it seems heavily led towards uh, red ball cricket. Um, you know when you know, you have players who play one or, or two formats of, of, of the white ball game, but, you know, it is what it is. There's decisions that I don't make. Um, but ultimately, it puts you in tough situations if you're not contracted and, you're, you know, you're, you're losing um, finances playing in tournaments um, in the winter. But, you know, it is what it is. Those are hurdles that we'll, we'll all get to when it gets to it. But, um, yeah, look, uh, hopefully, you know, white ball cricket can, can get uh, recognised um, as test match cricket does because you have players who here have been, you know, leading wicket takers in, the takers in the history of the game who don't have a, a contract, uh, sorry, for, for England don't have a contract, but, you know, those are decisions that I don't make. It just seems that still, you know, sometimes it seems all underestimated, you know, with being dropped down to seven on Sunday and not getting a full contract, you know, be, so you say sometimes it seems you don't get the full credit for what you do. Oh, look, uh, Keezy and I have had that, that chat already. Um, you know, it's, it, it just is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, you know, obviously... I think as players, we'd, we'd like to be um, rewarded for our performances for England. Um, you know, you, you guess that's what contracts are, are for. And if you, you know, rank top five in the world for three years, you, you'd hope you'd get recognised with a, with a white ball contract. But, you know, that's just how it works. It's not my decision to make. Um, as I said before, you know, it's still an honour to play for England and you want to play and win as many games as you can for England. But number seven doesn't bother you? No, look, I, I think if we'd lost the wicket in the first three overs, I'd have probably gone in or if we'd lost the wicket in the sixth over I still would have gone in um, you know at one point I was down to about four um, when Stokesy walked in I was down to about four then so it just the situation of the game just changed um, and we've been flexible in the last World Cup I batted five in one of the games as well and didn't bat in the first game either because they wanted to get run rate this you know it just is what it is um, and we're all flexible as soon as we know we get a good start I think we're all ready I think the whole team pretty much pads up and waits for it for a nod um, you know and that's just how it's always been it just hasn't fell in those situations a lot of times. The fielding in general was pretty strong all night. Uh, there was just one moment from Ben Stokes in the boundary. I don't know if you had a good view of it. And I don't know if you're used to these things watching him in training, but it looked pretty thorough.
Phenomenal. Yeah, he's a freak, isn't he? Um, for a guy who's got a dodgy knee to move like he does, is unbelievable. Um, you know, he puts everything on the line. He always has done. Um, you know, and he's a, fa he's a fantastic asset for England. Um, and on another night, he would have probably been able to catch that, throw it up, and then get back on his feet. Um, so yeah, it's it's fantastic to have him around.